The year 2024 promises a fiery battle in the road transportation industry, serving as the stage for intense competition between the promising newcomer Tesla Semi and the seasoned veteran Mac Anthem, known as the king with its wealth of experience. Despite being a newcomer to the market, the Semi has made a big impact with its superior breakthrough power. Its 1,500 horsepower, three times that of its competitors, is Elon's strong statement of ambition to redefine the rules of the road transportation world. What strengths does the Tesla Semi truck have to confidently dethrone the Mac Anthem? Why are Tesla Semi's three electric motors considered a game changer in comparison to Mac Anthem's traditional engine setup? The Tesla Semi's latest engineering breakthroughs are akin to a veil of mystery, concealing its performance figures. However, from the tidbit shared by Tesla's founder, we can discern that the newest Semi will boast three motors. Drawing from the prowess of Tesla's current motors, it's reasonable to estimate a combined output of around 1,500 horsepower, coupled with an immense torque of a 1,600 pound-foot. These numbers promise acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just about 5 seconds when empty and 20 seconds when fully loaded, establishing a new standard in performance that few rivals can match. Not only does it outshine diesel trucks, but real-world results from the 2023 No Truck event indicate that the Tesla Semi boasts a range two to four times greater than competing electric trucks on the market. The current Semi, sans turbocharging, means that the Tesla Semi and other electric trucks are targeting approximately 60% of Class 8 trucking scenarios. The rollout of Megapack bundles and supercharging stations alongside new electric truck stops like those Pepsi is installing for their initial fleet of 26 to 100 electric trucks is imperative. The range of Class 8 electric trucks is going to improve with charging systems slated for deployment at over 1,000 locations by 2023, 5,000 locations by 2024, and so forth. The premier range of the Tesla Semi will expand over time, possibly increasing by about 10% every two years or longer. Furthermore, Tesla Semi Highway Drive and Acceleration are continuous, with acceleration only engaging when necessary, ensuring peak efficiency. Speaking of efficiency, the three-motor Semi consumes less than 2 kilowatt hours a mile. That's when it's fully loaded with 82,000 pounds. On the flip side, Mac, a stalwart in the trucking industry, the 2024 Mac Anthem stands firm with its various iterations like the MP7, MP8, and MP8HE each offering a spectrum of both power and torque, ranging from 415 to 505 horsepower and 1260 to 1900 pound-foot. However, the substantial disparity lies not in the figures but in the practical performance. Under load, the Anthem takes up to 60 seconds to hit 100 kilometers an hour, a duration three times longer than the Tesla Semi, marking a clear dichotomy between tradition and the industry's future. Earlier this year, the Mac Anthem underwent upgrades, bolstered by a suite of enhanced engines for the three iterations, ensuring formidable power and torque to tackle hefty loads and inclines. An easy disengageable engine provides additional downhill power off functionality for heightened safety. The 2024 Mac Anthem has paid meticulous attention to aerodynamics to maximize drag and enhance fuel efficiency, a critical aspect in an industry where every mile per gallon counts. Smooth and careful body panels contribute to reducing wind resistance, ultimately saving fuel costs for trucking companies. Without a doubt, the Mac Anthem's acceleration enhancement still fails to keep pace with the Tesla Semi's rapid acceleration. The primary reason lies in Tesla Semi's unique design, with a front engineered to intake minimal air while still ensuring battery cooling. This approach not only reduces drag but also optimizes acceleration efficiency. With a low drag coefficient of 0.36, the Tesla Semi surpasses the Mac Anthem, despite the latter's drag coefficient ranging from 0.65 to 0.7 reduced to 0.5. The discrepancy renders the Tesla Semi superior, even outperforming supercars like the Bugatti Chiron with a coefficient of 0.38. With such unmatched power and performance, the Tesla Semi is attracting significant attention from the transportation industry, making the choice between the two trucks more critical than ever. So, which vehicle boasts greater power output? In the realm of diesel trucking, a typical model like the 6x4 Anthem usually weighs around 14,000 pounds when unloaded, consuming approximately 1,300 pounds of fuel with an engine weight of 2,500 pounds. Its total weight reaches 17,800 pounds. On the other hand, Tesla Semi's tractor unit can weigh around 15,000 pounds without the battery. 
The electric motor and transmission system of the Tesla Semi is much simpler and lighter compared to the engines and non-engine parts of diesel trucks. The battery pack of the Tesla Semi weighs around 10,000 pounds for the 500 mile range battery and 5,000 pounds for the 300 mile range battery. Consequently, the weight of the Tesla Semi when running 500 miles can reach about 25,000 to 26,000 pounds. However, under unloaded weight conditions and with the electric battery, the Tesla Semi carries an additional weight of about 8,000 pounds compared to a typical diesel truck. Nevertheless, this weight does not affect the operational efficiency and transportation capability of the Tesla Semi, maintaining its impressive and advanced status in technology and performance. Another aspect to consider is the interior, which plays a significant role in the weight and performance of trucks. The most noticeable difference between traditional truck manufacturers and modern Tesla trucks is the seating arrangement. Elon Musk's truck notably features a central driver's seat, which Tesla claims to allow for better overall visibility from the windshield. It has red-colored safety belts, and behind the driver's seat, there's two folding seats. There are two large touchscreen displays at both ends of the dashboard. It is expected that these two screens will have Tesla's excellent user interface and the usual connectivity features provided in the company's long-haul vehicles, alongside truck-specific features displaying towing data and more. In contrast, traditional manufacturer's Mac has also upgraded the interior for the 2024 Anthem, available in a range of configurations that meet the diverse needs of the industry, whether it be a day cab, a sleeper cab, or even a flatbed model. The Anthem can be customized to meet specific transportation requirements, while Mac's history always aims to build rugged and durable trucks. The Mac Anthem has a more traditional cabin with numerous control switches and a space for a microwave, fridge, cup holders, and sleeping quarters. There is a control panel with numerous buttons facing the driver. The seat adjustment is quite spacious. But the main difference lies in the large sleeping area. The installation of mattresses allow the driver to sleep comfortably during long journeys. It's undoubtedly a more established and accepted cabin arrangement. The 2024 Anthem also emphasizes comfort and safety for long-haul drivers who may spend countless hours on the road. Mac understands that driver happiness is paramount, and the Anthem reflects this commitment. The Anthem's interior is a masterpiece of modern design and ergonomic functionality for drivers. Mac designs the seats for comfort during extended driving with extensive adjustability to cater to the individual needs of operators. The intuitive control panel layout places crucial information within easy reach, reducing distractions and enhancing machine safety. What are the differences in safety features and technology integration between Tesla and Mac manufacturers? Another area where Tesla Semi makes a significant breakthrough is safety. Tesla Semi is expected to come equipped with the brand's enhanced autopilot feature as standard, we have yet to receive confirmation if that will indeed be the case. A range of safety features includes automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, and lane keeping assistance. If the Tesla Semi senses no intervention from the driver, it'll continue on the lane, gradually slowing down and stopping while automatically dialing emergency services. There is an advanced traction control system on the Tesla Semi to prevent jackknifing. Jackknifing refers to the abnormal folding of articulated vehicles like trailers due to uncontrolled inertia. This phenomenon occurs when the trailer is heavy, causing the truck to bend at different angles, often resulting in accidents. Tesla engineers have incorporated an advanced traction control system to completely avoid jackknifing. Moreover, the Tesla Semi's drivetrain system is guaranteed to have a lifespan of up to 1 million miles. Wow! Even if both its engines fail, the Tesla Semi can still operate and outperform a diesel truck in terms of acceleration and range. What else? Musk claims that the Semi will never require brake pad replacement. Regenerative braking recovers kinetic energy and stores it in the form of electricity in the battery, naturally slowing down the vehicle. Mac also pays up most attention to driver safety. Advanced technologies such as regenerative braking and predictive cruise control optimize fuel consumption. These innovations not only save money, but also reduce the environmental footprint of trucks. The 2024 Mac Anthem demonstrates this practice with its advanced technology features and connectivity. Mac's exclusive connectivity system provides real-time performance data about the truck, allowing fleet managers to monitor fuel efficiency, driver behavior, and maintenance needs effectively. Furthermore, the Anthem is equipped with an advanced positioning system and GPS to help drivers plan routes more efficiently reducing travel time on the road and increasing overall productivity. 
This connectivity also allows over-the-air updates, enabling Mac to continuously improve and enhance the functionality of the truck without the need for physical visits. Road transport industry stakeholders, like many others, are increasingly aware of the importance of environmental responsibility with tighter emission regulations, and there is a growing focus on sustainability. Mac has made several significant strides in this area. What vehicle offers a comfortable driving experience, ensures maximum safety, and is also a smarter investment choice? One significant factor that sets Tesla Semi apart is its competitive pricing strategy aimed at disrupting the trucking industry. With starting prices ranging from $200,000 for the 300-mile range model to $250K for the 500-mile range model, Tesla Semi enters the market with a bold statement. Factoring in tax credits, these prices decrease to an attractive range of $160,000 to $210,000, making it an even more enticing option for fleet operators. In contrast, max prices range from $150,000 for the basic cabin model to $170,000 for the sleeper model. Compared to significantly higher costs of conventional diesel trucks, Tesla's pricing strategy demonstrates a breakthrough strength in the market. Various national, state, and local subsidies for electric trucks also play a role. New York offers up to $185,000 for an electric Class A truck. California's HVIP and other places provide substantial subsidies as well. The U.S. Federal Clean Air Act offers a $40,000 tax credit for electric trucks. There are also credits and deductions for solar energy and stationary energy storage projects that range from 30 to 70% of the total cost. Transitioning to electric trucks like the Tesla Semi brings significant fuel cost savings compared to traditional diesel trucks. With energy consumption ranging from 1.5 to 2.5 kilowatt hours a mile, Tesla Semi currently consumes about 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, expected to decrease to 1.5 kilowatt hours in the coming year. With wholesale electricity prices around 10 cents a kilowatt hour, the cost for every 10 miles driven is approximately $1.70 significantly lower than the 550 needed for a gallon of diesel, which allows diesel trucks to only cover 10 miles per gallon. This not only reflects the superior energy efficiency of electric vehicles, but also indicates substantial fuel cost savings. Moreover, electric vehicles like the Tesla Semi significantly reduce maintenance costs compared to diesel engines. With no oil changes and the use of regenerative braking systems, maintenance frequency and costs are reduced. Regenerative braking also helps recover energy during braking situations, enhancing overall energy efficiency. Tesla Semi offers a practical operating range of 400 to 500 miles with a full load, suitable for a large portion of freight transportation needs in North America. This opens up a significant market segment, with 30 to 50% of trucking needs potentially being met by electric trucks, making them a practical and cost-saving choice. Compared to diesel trucks, an electric truck like Tesla Semi not only reduces annual fuel consumption, but also provides long-term cost benefits. With an annual electricity cost of $17,000 compared to diesel costs of up to $80,000, the economic benefit is evident, with total savings of up to $330,000 over a decade, and that includes battery replacement costs. Cost calculations and long-term savings show that despite the initial purchase cost of $210,000 after tax credits, a Tesla Semi truck still remains a more economical choice compared to consuming diesel fuel, which costs up to $800,000 over the same period. Additionally, Tesla trucks help reduce insurance costs due to regenerative braking technology, reducing the risk of breakdowns and damage. While developing electric vehicle charging infrastructure may take some time, with fast charging capabilities rivaling diesel refueling, the future of electric trucks certainly looks promising. What positive signs have contributed to the Semi's advantage since the beginning of this year? The Tesla Semi has showcased its practicality in real-world scenarios, as the company's fleet of fully electric Class A trucks successfully transported over 20,000 battery packs from the Giga Nevada factory to the Fremont factory. This update was provided by Tesla's senior technical director, Dan Priestley, who recently shared detailed insights into the Environmental Protection Agency EPA's Phase 3 regulations. The EPA recently unveiled its final rule titled Greenhouse Gas Emission Standards for Heavy-Duty Vehicles Phase 3, aiming to establish more stringent standards for reducing greenhouse gas emissions from heavy-duty vehicles, starting with the 2027 model year. Vehicles affected by these new standards include large trucks such as daytime taxis and sleeper cabs. 
Priestley commended the EPA's Phase 3 regulations, emphasizing that the Tesla Semi has demonstrated its ability to navigate the same routes and carry equivalent loads as diesel trucks while significantly being able to reduce those operating costs. He also brought up the fact that Tesla Semi's fleet successfully transported over 20,000 battery packs from Giga Nevada to the Fremont factory. Additionally, the CEO said he was very optimistic about the rapid adoption of fully electric trucks like Tesla Semi across the market. Besides, starting from 2024, all new freight trucks operating at port and container terminals in California have to be electric. By 2035, all freight trucks traversing California roads got to be electric as well. These regulations provide a significant advantage for electric semi-trucks because service providers are compelled to switch to electric trucks to comply with legal requirements. Electric semi-trucks will become the most suitable choice to meet these new regulations. There is a large potential market in California, with over 140,500 trucks registered to the Dreage Truck Registry as of December 2022. Among these, more than 51,500 trucks are registered in California, representing a substantial domestic demand. Additionally, around 89,000 trucks are coming from other states, indicating the potential for expanding that market. Electric semis are particularly suitable for operations at ports and container terminals, where approximately 33,500 trucks serve California's seaports and intermodal container yards annually. On average, 28,700 trucks visit these facilities at least twice a week, equivalent to 112 times a year. The frequent nature, short routes, and ability to recharge at fixed locations make electric semi-trucks an ideal choice for these operations. The race between Tesla Semi and Mac Anthem is not only a clash between two brands, but also a competition of values and upgrades that they both bring. Tesla Semi and Mac Anthem represent progress in technology and performance in the trucking industry. With the ability to operate entirely on electricity, Tesla Semi not only provides energy savings and reduces emissions, but also opens up a new future for sustainable transportation. Mac Anthem, with its long-standing experience in continuous innovation, offers stability and reliability to users, demonstrating its commitment to quality and performance. The competition between these two truck models is creating diverse choices and undeniable benefits for both the transportation industry and the community. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you did, please press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.